actually shake uh, i wanted to uh, ask a question about uh, intention about uh, salah or mm-hmm. wudu or ghusl mm-hmm. uh, is uh, is it uh, is it okay to you know just think about uh, the salah in your head uh, or do uh, one need repeat it or make an absolute sentence in his mind uh, about the intention of salah or wudu none of that none of that simply when i'm going to the washroom why I, you know i'm planning to read quran i don't have wudu let me make wudu that is the intention intention simply means the aim let me tell you this when you invite some people for dinner or tea or whatever do they necessarily know what is your intention no but you and obviously allah knows oh i'm inviting them in order to show them my beautiful house oh in order to show them that i can order plenty of food so that's a corrupt intention did you say it did you share it with anyone did you write it down no it's in the heart it's called the aim i'm going for umrah do i have to say oh allah I intend to go for umrah no. book the ticket got the visa book the hotel in mecca and medina that is called the intention and that's why it feels odd when I'm standing next to somebody in the saf, or when I hear somebody behind me, if I'm leading the prayer saying, before saying takbir, Oh Allah, I intend to pray dhuhr four rak'ahs in jama'ah in this masjid. Oh, whom are you telling? Whom are you sharing these informations with? Allah, he already knows. He came to the masjid to pray dhuhr. And guess what? Everybody knows dhuhr is four rak'ahs. And obviously you're praying in this masjid because you are in this masjid. So sometimes people utter things. They do not necessarily know their meaning. But they learn so, they inherit it so from their fathers and their forefathers, from their community. When you think about it, you realize, well, let me tell you this. Surprise. If you enter the masjid to pray Asr, and by mistake, Slip of a tongue, he said, Oh Allah, I intend to pray dhuhr four rak'ahs in this masjid in jama'ah. Then after he finished the prayer, somebody said, Hey bro, you intended to pray dhuhr, it was asr. He said, oh my God, did I? I didn't realize that. What am I supposed to do? Nothing. You know why? You already prayed dhuhr. When you made wudu and you were coming to the masjid, you are coming to pray asr. Everybody knows it's asr. And that's why it is not required to utter the intention. Nor is it from the Sunnah. Barakallahu feek.